In today's video, we are using unused envelopes to make an embellishment and a tag. And then we're working on day eight for the October daily prompt. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and we are here for the next day of our October 2020 one more time junk journal challenge where we are repeating September and today we are on the letter U which is unused envelopes so I was like unused envelopes and I remembered that Jessica at I'm a cool mom did a really cool thing um, for our happy mail this month where she um, I'm, I'm on her patreon so I and I'm in the tier where I get the little goodies and she made these little envelopes and I was like oh I think I can use those um, possibly and then there's some other goodies in here that I might be able to use these tickets probably not the butterflies today um, and I think I'm gonna save this one and the pictures Okay, so I'm going to save the picture, save that, but I am trying to use things up as they come in when I can. So I think I can use that at some point during this one. This cool crinkly paper, there is a blue stamp, probably not going to use that this time, but that doily, and I think we'll save the cheesecloth. Okay, so I have all these goodies that I... And there's still more in here. Wow, there's more in my... Okay, we'll save the wings. There's still more in there. And we'll save the toadstool and the wings. Oh, I like the dot. <laughs> it's a bingo marker, it looks like. I've got this little... I think we'll save those for possibly for the fairy fairy journal coming up very soon okay so the ABC stuff came out so the fairy gets it gets closer to the top oh that was supposed to go in that bag okay um, so we are still on this part um, and that was day seven so today is day eight and you all know that eight is my favorite number i think i have well i know i do i just don't know exactly where but i have cards lots of cards that say eight of hearts oh well Oh my gosh, I just found this one. My kids just, my daughter and her family just got goats. I think they're all girls, but I'll have to put that in in my stuff for her, for hers. Oh well, yeah, I was like, thought that that would be really cool for the number eight to use one of the, the cards, but I, I don't see them. So we will, I mean, I like using the the flinch cards. So, um, yeah, so there was some discussion. Flinch was or is a card game, and a couple of the people in our group still play it. Um, the card game came with cards up to 15, and I had an awesome subscriber offer... Um, I was trying to figure out how to get the rest of the numbers and she got us the rest of the numbers so that we could go ahead and have the numbers 1 through 31 so that was that is awesome and I love using these for my December daily for my October daily and so there so we have our number eight our number eight is ready and okay so unused envelopes so the one thing I thought I would use was 
the CD holder. I found another one. I was very, I was actually very excited to find another holder. So I'm thinking about putting this on the edge like that. Okay. So we'll have a flip here. Okay. And then I can put something in it. And I can write behind it. Okay, so this is going to be the center of my first, uh, my first signature right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to want to make something to fit in there. And I have, looks like this card will fit. Okay. Oh, do I? Heck, do I have a cutter? I took cutters out there to um, to make the envelope that I added into the. So there's two ABC kits. One is it was a linen ABC book. It is absolutely adorable, and the linen really showed up like if you could copy it onto some paper that felt like linen it would be amazing okay so that's going to be able to go in there so we're going to want to go ahead and um, do the edge of our pocket you know what we haven't used in a while <laughs> that's coming up to in a couple days our tool we haven't used in a while but maybe I can help suggest something um Remember these scissors? Do you have some of these scissors? Did you give them away? <laughs> Did you have these scissors and you gave them away? So anyway, there we go. We've got that, that little ledge there and we have our card. So what I, and then we have our, these envelopes that I want to use and I'm going to use them on the other side. Now she did this really cute thing where she took the two envelopes I don't think I'm gonna have enough room I think these are too big but it was really cute she took two envelopes and then she decorated right here and she added things here and here and then there would be room there as well and um, so that was Jessica and I'm a cool mom and um, yeah but I I just don't think I can we can try We'll see, because we, we do have some extra room because of the um, the lace there. But we need to go ahead and make something for this pocket. So I was thinking to bring out from the, this is in the napkin, the thanks, no, the fall napkin collection on Dear Julie Julie. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this down here. And that um, napkins are in the Etsy shop. I have Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. These ones are the from the fall set. They have this blue truck in them that is so cool. Um, and then I have birds and I have flowers. So there's just there's several napkin sets. So there we have our truck and it's going to fit on there. I don't need the gather. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and then I'm going to rip it. Okay, so we'll cut it. And we'll cut it. So I was looking for some stuff and I found another hole. Tote. It's a little tote, 
but it's still the whole tote of um, fall stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. So I pulled some of the things that there was only one of out of them, out of it to use. And um, then I pulled some stickers out. Okay. Wow, this is a hard one. Um, let me try going this way. It's a good napkin. It's, uh, it doesn't want to tear the way I want it to tear. Now I have control. <laughs> okay, so here we have our little truck. I don't think I need it to say gather, so I can save the gather for another day. So let's figure out if he's on there. Okay, he's gonna fit that way. And he's gonna fit that way. Okay, so we'll just kind of center him right on there. I'm gonna do the dry decoupage technique that I like to do. And that's where I just use my glue, my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I'll go around the outside of the torn napkin. So kind of up close to the edge, all the way around. All the way around. <laughs> all the way around. And then I'll come back and add the pumpkins. Okay, and you'll see I'm kind of, if I can see their lines, I'm going around their lines. If there's some other stuff, I'm adding that. I'm going around the lines of the tire. We'll fill the tires in, around the bumpers. Just the places that if, um, if the glue showed through, it would look like we kind of watercolored it. And at the same time, all those places that the glue is touching, it's giving us a place um, go around the truck too on this particular one. Okay? It's giving us um, places that the glue is going to touch and hold. Okay? Now we'll just go ahead and pull it up. Do our best to get it where we thought we were going to put it. And be really careful because it is a napkin. So that is going to be my little card. It's going to be able to go inside there. Now, um, since we have the napkin out and we have this, I was going to see about, yeah, let's go around the outside the best that we can. And, okay, let's leave this side over here. If we can't go all the way around, okay. So if you you want to make sure that you um, take your ply apart on your napkin, and so should we go with the yellow on the inside? I think we should.
here we go. Go round, round. Okay, so there's that. We're kind of framing it. Now it, over here it's going to fold. Are we okay with that? I think we're okay with that. That'll be fine. Okay. So this has to dry and then it's going to go in there. Okay. So it's going to live in there. Um, so that is my unused envelope as a... Um, an embellishment okay and we're still decorating it but we need it to to be a little more um, dry <laughs> okay and let's see what do we have that I think I'm gonna go get some of the larger pumpkin stickers okay Okay, so our next thing, we have to make a tag. And so I had these, these two coin tags. Okay, so I have two of these and they were, they like jumped out at me. I was like, oh, so you want to be in this journal, do you? And so, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put one inside the other. Okay, like this. And and you can see we've got these brads. I wonder if we should put one of the, should we do it this way? No, we can't do it that way because what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this is going to go underneath here. So we're going to want a pocket, and you know, I love pockets and I cannot lie. So I'm going to go ahead and just, let's put this over onto the scissors so it won't touch anything else. I'm going to go ahead and pop this little pocket right down here. Could use one of those empty envelopes, but that's okay. We'll save those for... Here we go. I'm going to put down an, a little pocket. And this will hold our tag that we're going to make out of. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this back. And let's put this over here where it can dry. Okay, so it's drying. This is drying. I'll take that. Put that so it can dry. Everybody's drying. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, so we have this here. Now what I'm thinking is um, Okay, so if we put this on the front Yes, I am. I am planning as we go right here, right now. Okay. Okay, so if we just cut this. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't like that. Okay, but what I'm thinking is we can go ahead, open, or fix this brad, and we can go ahead and put a hole in this, and let's go ahead and we'll also add that. can add that okay and I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole in the top of it not 
that big of a hole. <laughs> it was like a one and a half inch punch. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I mean, this is a large punch, but it's not one and a half inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this in right here and pull it down. Okay, so I have this little dilly bobber here and I don't think we need that piece of napkin. I think it's fine if it goes away. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece off. So we have this little spot that we can add writing, pictures, um, that type of thing. I'm still, I'm still figuring this one out. Ooh, oh, I know. <laughs> Okay, what if we take the, look, there's a seam right here. I mean, this is like total scrap, right? Total scrap. So if we take this total scrap and we tie it across here, maybe we can put a, a bow on it. We've got a little bow. Oh, then that closes that. Nope, that won't work. But we can go around one, right? Go around the front, the front one. See, you guys all do this too. You just don't do it on camera. <laughs> what the the people watching? This is a trial and error. Figure things out. Oh, that's totally not gonna work. That's going to work. If I had it all figured out, we'd get like one video every three weeks. Because I would be just constantly just trying to figure stuff out. I would never, I would never get anything to the point that it could go out and see people. Okay, so we have that, we have that. Let's go ahead and put some glue down underneath here, including under that fabric, and underneath this side, including the fabric. And that will become a little spot, a little tuck spot. Okay, so we can tuck something up under there probably not that big but we'll be able to tuck something under there okay so we've got this now the other thing is remember this is an envelope so I'm thinking we can go ahead instead of going in here or going in down here we'll just be a little different and let's cut this up the side but I'm not going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to come in a little bit so that that will stay closed. And I am going to go ahead and give this a little, now that we decided what we're doing with it, give that a little close. So now we have this little pocket here, and that can have this in it. Okay, and if we want to make sure that we remember that it's a pocket, I just knocked something down behind me that probably has me stuck in here until... <laughs> And remember the cool thing about brads is you can move them around so that you can write in those things too. I think that's going to be kind of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll trim that right there. We'll add this right here totally gives us a place to put something and I think we'll go ahead and add a little of Georgette just a 
a little piece, cut it, and staple it. Okay, so again, place for writing. Oh, I like it. Okay, so we just need a little something. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, and we already used the, the piece that um, came off the the card that we used for the truck. So, let's see. Well, we have this. Actually, <clears throat> we'll leave those because let's see what our prompt is for today. Okay, so we have those. That will go into the pocket. How are we doing over here? Are we drying? Okay, so this can go into this pocket right here. this and of course we're still waiting for our truck to dry and he's gonna go inside there okay so if you can imagine we're gonna have our truck in there and we'll have this pocket here and you know what I'm not gonna use the envelopes from from Jessica I'm gonna, I'm gonna save them again Darn, but I just don't think that they um, they go with this. So we also have this beautiful card, and we have this. Oh, I like that. Okay, so that gives me another place to write. And the thing that I've discovered when I do these ahead of time, if I don't write in the whole thing, it's okay. Um, it's totally okay. Okay, so I pulled this one out because it had a little bit of damage down here. And I was like, oh, I don't want to accidentally put that in a, um, in a journal. So we'll go ahead and take that. So I'm thinking we can go off the edge a little bit over here. This could hold that. It could also hold our eight. Ooh, but our eight would look good up there. But this could hold our eight. Okay, so it could be, you know what? I don't think we need this whole thing. So let's go ahead and it down have it be a pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie okay so if we end up with a cool picture it can go right on here and go in there and let's go ahead and you might have to make that smaller because I do want this on here because of this 
could go up here though. Yeah, let's do that. We've been doing them more on the outside, but I think it'll be fine to put this one on the inside. So I'm gonna add my, my glue to the doily. Just plop it right on there. Okay, the one thing is, is I see I'm gonna need this color again on here somewhere, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so we'll add our eight. So we'll be making our, um, well, we'll we're going to finish a couple of journals and then we're going to make our, my November. Um, uh, for November, I do the 30 days of Thanksgiving. I really like this big one because I'd like to just put like a big picture on that. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> okay. So, um, we need a little bit more of this color. We have this cool paper. And we have these, these actually, these are really cool. There's an eight. Chester City Transport. But this will give us our triangle. I could put, well, no, that won't be a triangle. But I can put it down here. And that'll give us one, two, that color. One, two, that color. So our eyes will be happy. Oh, go by bus, it says on the other side. <laughs> well, this time we're not going by bus, but that that would be be. A, that's cool to know that that's there. Okay, so there's that. So this is, it's not dry yet, but it's getting there. Okay. Do we want to see what it's going to look like? That's what it's going to look like when we get to put it in there. We're going to take it back out because we don't want it to, to stick to anything while it's drying. Okay, so let's see. Um, pull this open. I'm going to just add this um, from the from the map onto the pocket here. Okay, so I can go ahead and I'll be able to add a picture here. I can put a picture on the um, the other side of the truck thing if I want to. I can put a picture here. I've got a lot of places to put pictures. So I'm going to go get some stickers and I'll be right back. Okay. So I found several things. I found these pumpkins. I think that they are going to work. I found a set of ran ransom stickers. <laughs> ransom stickers. Um, so there was only one thing of those. Uh, there, that paper. Uh, I found a 17 and a 12 that I'm going to want to use. And I found some cookbook. Okay, so let's see here. So what I'm thinking is a little bit of something here with the with the pumpkins. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this paper from Jessica down here. I wish I'd get something 
wrapped in, I, you know, it's like I can think, I've gotten things wrapped in this stuff before. It's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and fix that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add another layer because um, I'm going to put the pumpkins down and I want to make sure that they they stick. Where did they go? There they are. Okay, so so thinking this big pumpkin can come over and go right over here at the edge. And this one can come over and go at this edge. And hopefully they're not going to cover up the truck too much. And there's that. We'll put this little one down here. And we'll put this little one up here. Okay, so we have the, the triangle. And we, we have that. <laughs> Yay! use something up okay so that's gonna go ahead that'll open that'll open and so this is my envelope embellishment we have napkin on it that's other stuff and the stickers so that's our three items on here then we have our um, our tag and we have this here you open it up so we have this we have this and we've added this so we have at least three things embellishing it and we're gonna embellish it more uh, when we get to the prompt so our prompt today so anyway so that is what we have so far and oh yeah we have our little truck don't forget our little truck Okay, he's still drying, but he's going to go in there. Shall we see what he looks like in there real quick? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Can you still tell that he's a truck? I might have messed it up by covering up his wheels so much, but that's okay. I really, really like it. So there we go. We have our truck looking out, looking out the round window. We see the truck through the pumpkin patch. Okay. Okay. So our number eight is let me see. It is have you been on a hayride or a wild ride? <laughs> so, um, some people may, may have never been on a hayride, but maybe you've been on a wild ride. So that gives you a chance to tell that story. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. And yes, I have been on both. I have been on both. And um, hay rides were a part of my, my, my childhood. Um, and from, again, from people from that, that group, the, the Amicables, that family group, um, when we got older, one of the families lived on a, a ranch, and we had our Halloween parties moved to to their house, and it was awesome. And we did have we had a we had a wild ride one year. <laughs> Whoa, we had a wild ride. But we also had hay rides. It was it was a blast. And and there's a, a pumpkin patch. Um, there's a restaurant called Bacali's, and then they also have a farm. And they 
the uh, raised pumpkins and they'll have a hay ride at their pumpkin patch and it's pretty fun. Uh, done that with the, the grandkids and um, have done it with the kids when they were smaller. So I have the word hay ride here and so I'm going to attach that there and then we'll go ahead and again that will go inside there and then I have somewhere oh here it is I have some raffia I don't have any hay well I do have hay out in the garden but I um I thought I could go ahead and put some pieces of the raffia just kind of coming out from under the pumpkins I'm not going to put it under the the truck but I thought I could put some coming out from under the pumpkins because the truck is going to be it's going to be in the inside the pocket so I don't I don't want to to mess it up so it could be like we're on the the trailer that's behind the yeah that's what it is the truck is pulling us and we're on a trailer right here so we're on the hayride <laughs> wish I'd have thought about that before I started this. <laughs> I could, pre could pretend I had this great idea all along. But that's okay. I like the idea anyway. Okay, so a little bit of, of raffia. And um, one of the great places to get some raffia is in the summertime if you pick up one of those hula skirts. The Hawaiian hula skirts at Dollar Tree. You'll be able to use that for raffia for a long, long time. This actually was from a beard from a Santa Claus. That just it it was not. It was ugly. <laughs> so so it got it got debearded. Go ahead and trim down these ones and we'll trim down these ones because of the crease. Okay, so this is my Have You Ever Been on a Hayride page for my October Daily. That's what I'll be answering, but I made, I used a, a CD envelope to make a, an embellishment. This is different than the embellishment I made out of the CD envelope last year or last month and the one that I found last month I thought it was the last one I had and when I opened this the place where the fall stuff was there were several in there. So um, let's see. So I can still decorate this for when I'm answering the question and but I really I really like it. So that is day eight. We have our attached to the edge here embellishment where we were able to add a card that we went ahead and used a napkin um, on it. And I think that that is really cool. And we can go ahead and put a pic picture there or we'll be able to, to write and um, and then we just we or I decided it looked like I was sitting in the on the, the trailer behind the truck going for my hayride going for the hayride you know it's pretty bouncy and um, pretty cool and it got done a couple of them at night and they were kind of scary so um, we have a place to write over here and a place that we can write or put a picture here so I think that that is awesome. And what is your favorite? And let's see. And we have one more thing to do. We have to add the date with my date stamp. Okay, so October. Eighth. Oh, there's no seven. So did we not put a seven on the seventh day? We didn't. Let's go ahead and give it 
give it something. There we go. Okay, so now we'll go to the eighth. If I'd have left more room down there, that would have been a good place for it. I think we'll just put it right here. Okay. October 8, 2020. 10-8, 2020. Okay. And it's all about the hayride. Got our scarecrow, got our hayride. <laughs> lots of fun. This is, I for me, this is lots of fun um, to getting a chance to be able to to decorate, use my imagination, my imagination <laughs> with um, with my things. I'm I'm enjoying that. You know, I think we're gonna need um, one of those little just makes so much easier to put to take things out, and put things in when you have the little the little hole there. Okay, okay. So we have our em our envelope embellishment pocket and our envelope tag. And I'm going to try and get a picture, and I hope we have a good sun sunset today because I think it would be really fun to put a sunset picture behind there. Um, and then we have this little thing. You can either do that or you can move it back and forth because it's under the brad. And we can also do that again here with a picture or something so I think that's going to be a lot of fun and that's our unused envelope tag so oh yeah we also it has this little spot here and if we need it we can add another little spot there too there we go and that was the center signature of or the center of our signature so remember this part uh, that I'm doing, this is not part of the challenge. I just happen to be using my journal, my challenge journal to make this. And I'm doing it all at the same time because I've got like 80 things all going on at the same time. But I really wanted to make an October daily. And I wanted it to be full of stuff. I wanted it to have things that we can make and um, use use our stuff so I'm going to put whatever uh, video has day 8 from last year's October daily and it'll be right over there and also YouTube will add a video that is something that they think that you're going to want to watch and we'll continue to put the October daily playlist over there for you to check out and that is from last year and remember that is the the gigantic book from last year so um yeah it's a lot of fun to do this though i i enjoy it there you go find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe have an amazing day and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye bye